Welcome back, Rankers, back in Melbourne, back in the studio, and back just in time, luckily enough, for our federal election. Boy, wasn't that fun not. Just as a follow-up from that, though, I'm surprised that the media don't utilise Google more to do their research, and the, and the pollsters don't utilise Google. I mean, look at this graph. When we last looked at this, it was a little bit higher, and then, I mean, it's clear. I mean, the blue line, in case you're wondering from overseas, in case you care at all, the blue line won, and there it is predicted in Google that that was going to happen. So there you go. Use Google Trends. Anyway, what I want to talk to you about today is whenever you hear Google start talking about something a lot, uh, you hear them start sort of mentioning the same thing over and over again, just Listen, because chances are they're, they're trying to tell you in a not-so-subtle way that this is going to be really important, so you better pay attention. We heard it back in 2009 when they started talking about speed of the web and those sorts of things and speed of sites, and we know that that's now a factor in ranking. If you've got a slow site, you're not going to rank. One of the things that they've been talking about recently is authorship. Just about two weeks ago on the official Webmaster blog, we had this great big uh, FAQ page on authorship and, and you know, how do you use it, what do you use it. And there was a, a lot of questions that came out on Google Plus about this, and I recommend you go and have a look at this. Then, you know, also we, we've, we've seen the whole process of getting authorship on your, on your blog or on your articles or wherever it be uh, become more simplified. Just Google, Google authorship to find a page. It makes it really easy for you to set up authorship. And... And there's a lot of questions up here, and a lot of SEOs were saying, well, just tell us, does authorship affect traffic or not? Does it affect ranking? Is it a signal? My response to those sorts of questions about authorship is like, just don't think about it like that. Think of it, authorship as about Google trying to ID an individual. ID an, yeah, that works. ID an individual and understand whether their content is worthy of getting ranked above someone else's. So this idea, well, if I've got authorship, I'll rank better. Well, I'll give you an example of what happened to a mate and a client recently. Set up authorship on the site. Long story short, traffic doubled overnight. Went from something like 3,000 uh, uniques from Google Organic to about 6,000 overnight just by implementing authorship. Boom. Now, did authorship make his Pages rank higher? Yes. But let me qualify that. It was a news site, okay? And he was breaking a lot of news stories in his particular niche. But what was happening is, is that because he was breaking the stories about celebrities or whatever they were, other people were picking those stories up and writing about them. And Google was ranking their stories higher than his, the original. Whereas by setting up authorship on his site, he made it easier for Google to understand that his was the first to break this story or to start talking about this particular topic. Okay, so that's, that's where it starts to work. Google's trying to get a better idea of the content quality, where it came, comes from, when it was published, so it, you know, it gets the source right and those sorts of things. This is especially important in news sites. And... You know, getting that authorship set up is also important if you're just a normal blogger. Even if you're just a normal business owner who has content on their website, you should have authorship set up. And to give you another indication of Google putting some emphasis around this, the other thing that they did just today was announce at the TechCrunch Disrupt conference that you're now going to be able to embed threads of conversations from Google+. Plus into your own site, so much the same way as you can embed, say, a YouTube video. But not only that, they're also rolling out Google authorship, automatic Google authorship, for the WordPress platform and the type plaid. Type plaid? <laughs> That's a golfing pants, don't worry about it. Uh, type pad platform, you try saying it. And uh, if you sign in using your Google account for those platforms, you will now automatically have authorship added to everything that you write on those platforms, which is great because it increases your click-through rate. It doesn't necessarily make you rank higher, although in the example I've given, 
it has given the content more authority. But you can't just... The, the problem with a lot of SEOs is they come out and say, oh, this is the thing that you need to do. This is the ranking factor. Well, all we can really be sure of is that you've got to keep creating good content. You've got to use your keywords in that content. And you've got to do everything possible to make sure that Google understands that your content is unique and timely and gets updated regularly. And one of the tools to help with that is certainly Google authorship. Where I believe, and I said this before, where I believe Google authorship is going to become really important is if, um, for instance, if I write an article about, I don't know, Einstein's theory of relativity, and Einstein just happens to be alive, and he has Google authorship, and he retweets my article, because let's not forget, on Google profiles, all your profiles or set up, your, your Twitter profile is connected, your Facebook profile is connected, all these profiles are connected. Now, if Einstein was alive, had his Google profile, retweeted my article, that'd be amazing, right, for me, for traffic, for users. But Google will also see that, hey, this is an author who's really important about that topic, and he's retweeted or shared an article about that topic. We better take note of that. And that's where I think Google authorship will become a signal if it isn't already. Look, much the same way as PageRank was. PageRank was always a measure of the page rank of other pages that were linking to your page, okay? So Google authorship will become a measure of the authors that are sharing your authored content, if that makes sense. So the more you use Google authorship, the more you share it around, the more you actually get involved possibly in Google+. Plus. I'm not saying it's a must, but it will expose your content to other people who may want to share it. Then, yeah, I reckon at that point it can become a signal. But just get, setting up Google authorship and saying, I've got author rank now. Um, I'm going to rank higher because I have authorship. No, that's not the way it works. It's a lot more complex than that. However, if you are trying to get found in Google News, we know that you need to use Google authorship to consistently rank above sites that don't have it in Google News. And it makes sense. It makes sense that Google has to know that this is a writer who published this article to rank it in Google News. And that's it for today's show. Hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully a little bit of that made sense. I'm still recovering from holidays. And we'll see you next week. Thanks very much. Bye.